everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Jurassic World The Game! And also, Jurassic World Live! First part, we'll be focusing on Jurassic World The Game, and then once we've done stuff here, we'll hit up Jurassic World Alive! I've done this once before where I've combined both of the games, and the video did pretty well! So, I'm, you know, for curiosity's sake, I'm also gonna see how this one does. Uh, you know, we, we're, we're putting both into one. Yeah, there's a lot of overlap with the player base. I thought, why not? Also, why is... This is super dark. <laughs> like, my screen for you, it's fine. But for me, I'm like... Why? Why? How? Hold on, guys. I need to change the... What is going on with this brightness? Oh, there it is. It's me. <laughs> so, what are we gonna be doing today? Well, I have three hours to use my uh, instant hatches. So we will use the instant hatches just to, you know, in three hours, I'll just get four back. As otherwise, I'm only getting one back and I may as well. Um, the Carinosaurus, yeah, don't have the Triceratops. There was an event for the Spino. Whoa, what is that? Gerothrax. Oh, sorry, Gerothorax. Okay, it looks like a uh, Diplocalus. Interesting. And it looks to be... <gasps> it's VIP only. Do you unlock it? Not owned. It looks... Like Wait, hold on. Did they add more VIP creatures? That looked like a VIP creature. Oh, okay. They've got, like, loads less. Cool. Right. Whoa. Whoa. So if you want a specific creature, you can get 4,000 of it. I mean, you do... What would you get in it? You get the creature... And you could get 1,500 bucks, I suppose. So, is there any new ones in here? Or is it just all the old ones? These are the cheap buggers. These are the ones you can just do the 10,000 for. Okay. But what about the solid gold ones? Yes, let's have a look in here. Okay, there are new ones. Melonia. Or my Myo Myolania. Myolania, which is, the, which is in Jurassic World Alive. The Gerothorax, which isn't. So, that's a new model. Right. Anglosaur Gen 2 is in here. Okay, so they've added two new ones. One, or at least I just didn't even notice. <laughs> maybe, they, maybe they've always been in here, I suppose. But you, so you don't unlock it, you just get it. Because you don't really unlock VIP creatures. Cool. Right. Okay. We'll see what kind of battle events we've got going on. Oh, also there's like a triple or quadruple, I suppose, if you're VIP uh, thing there. So hold on. Let me just quickly get this. Why did it show me an advert for war robots? This amazing, intense thing. And then the clicky advert is... <laughs> is freaking vacuum cleaners in a house? <laughs> what? Was that the same game? Oh, the, the, the trailer looked so much better than the freaking final game then. War robots or war rumbas. Yeah, that's the one. Okay, so we'll quick click that. Uh, we, of course, we've clocked over, so we've got the complete 25 battles, speed up 20 times, use 30 amphibians, uh, so that's really easy to get. Also, we've got new ones of these two, so win 25 battles with herbivores, win 3 battles with Rodriguez Solitaire, win 10 battles with... Okay, okay. So, we can definitely grind through some quite quickly. It depends how much this one is. Oh, this one's free. Okay. Well, that's really good. So you can just do that, you can click off, and boom, we can do that. And we can glitch the game again. Oh, I love it when this happens. Oh, this happened last time, didn't it? <laughs> oh, we'll be right back again. Um, hopefully it won't have a problem with me doing that again. I didn't really think that that would be a problem. Oh, they're just trying to stop people from doing that glitch by, I don't know, if you do it, you break the game! <laughs> So we'll just keep on doing that over and over. Before you know it, dear, we will have sped up and have done the battle thing so much. I think I may have a solitaire Rodrigo. So actually, what we'll do is we'll hatch one of those. Let's have a look. I think it's a herbivore. We'll flip it this way because I've already got more than I need to hatch. Okay, here we go. Here we go. So we've got Australia Titan. Okay, didn't even realize I had that. Oh, maybe it's a carnivore. I know it's a land. That's all I know. It's definitely a land. And okay, let's right sod it. We're just gonna go Jurassic. What? What? Come on! Is in here somewhere at the bottom? 
look at all this stuff I don't have. <laughs> oh, the days. Oh, so Cynosauropteryx. Oh, yeah, I missed him. So, wait. Where's the birdie? It's got to be in here, right? Australotitan I do have. Okay. Maybe I did make the birdie. No, no, no. I No, I think I did, actually. Yes. I have the bird. I just... It's got to find it in here somewhere. Come on. Come on. I spy with my little eye. Little birdie! Wait, did I... Oh. Did I... Oh, I, I packaged it up. It was on the new island. Okay, yeah, that's right. Yeah, so... Hold on. Big change from last time. You might remember this island was kind of crazy. Well, I decided to get rid of everything and reorganize all me decorations! Woo! <laughs> so now... Thank you, thank you, yes. Uh, they're all in here. They're all neatly and tidily organized. And there, I, I never... I thought maybe I would have had more Omega trophies, but no, I've got more of the freaking Vulcan. Vulcan 19. Mm, Omega 09 and Vulcan 19, Code 19. You knew something. Someone in Ludia knew something. I don't know. I don't know. I, I would be a bit worried. <laughs> Whoever came up with uh, Code 19, I think needs a background check a little bit. <laughs> okay, so... No, no, we're good, we're good. Okay, so I do have three out of four to use, but we need to use it on creatures that are going to take absolutely ages just so we can crack them out. <laughs> Get it? Because they're coming out of eggs. Eh? Uh, as fast as possible. Oh my god, there's so many. Oh, oh come on. Dang. Oh, wait, this is all creatures. Never mind. Okay, that makes sense. I was like, why is there so many? So VIPs aren't worth it because they only take about a couple of hours. It's these guys that really do. Uh, just a Berger I don't have. Ooh, we should get that. Instant hatch. Boom. There we are. Just a Berger, the cool looking Pteranodon from the Lost World. Let's give you a little bit of a feed. Now, I probably could have hatched you last time or last time there was an event like last month and i would have got some points for it now well here we are so just a budget is also known as the pteranodon sternbergia well i mean i cool <laughs> they, they really do struggle sometimes to think about what 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 do we put in these uh, uh, just call it like uh th it's normal name yeah that's a fact <laughs> so what wait hold on hold on what do we have to do here? We've got one more pack to open. We've got one more battle to do. We've got to spend food and participate in three PVPs. So best thing to do, I find, it's always the glacier. They got rid of do the aquatic uh, PVP, do the Cenozoic PVP, and then you would just do a normal PVP and that would be all the missions. So they've, they don't cycle them, they just got rid of it because I do not see that anymore. So there's no point in us even doing that battle because chances are we're going to win coin and I don't have time for that. You don't have time for that. <laughs> Nobody has time for that. Uh, also, we're collecting our previous things. Badge completed. I, I did a badge mission. Oh, have a level 40 plus of that. Oh, wait a minute. They put freaking Tupandactylus or whatever it is above Indominus Rex when it comes to this. What? What a load of rubbish. And Dose Rex is way better. Okay, so now we need to spend food. Um, which we're gonna do by, you know, any any means necessary. But there might be a chance if we spend food in here that we get a pack and then we don't have to open a pack. So best thing is, if you're doing this um, and you need a pack open, you could always go into the VIP stuff and just open up one of these or go into something that you've already saved. Solitary bird like this, boom! Oh, I was hoping that was going to be another bird and I would get to use me instant head. What a shame. It wasn't that. We're 520, like, oh, oh, some juicy points here. Uh, and then, of course, that's that mission done. Uh, I think once we get to 10,000, oh, we might have already got Solitaire uh, Bird. Yeah, hold on, we got it way earlier. Ah, yes, we can use it on this. So we'll claim the birdie and then we'll, oh, we'll, we'll get the pack as well. Because that's a guaranteed one. Oh, oh, that's nice. I like the rewards in this one. I like that 10 bucks. What are we doing? <laughs> right, I'll claim it, I suppose. Woo, 10 bucks. Oh, wow. And then a freaking amazing creature. Cool. But we get how much? Oh, 5,000. 
<laughs> 5,000. That is crazy money. Okay. Now, give me herbivore. Right, which one is it? I've got so many. But there is Rodriguez. We have two more to use. Boom, we'll put you in. Get another one. Boom, put you in. We need one more and we can get a level 30. So we'll quickly, you know, we could have spent food on this. Let's look at its eating animation. It's so cute. I think we might have used it last time. Although the last video we did was the Parasaurolophus uh, stampede. Because I was like, yes, I know what to do. I can make a thumbnail, sweet. And I know what I'm going to do for this one. Like a million birds. I'm just going to like, you know, do my Photoshop madness. You know, back in the good old days, when it I would come up with an idea to make a thumbnail with loads of dinosaurs in it, I would take a screenshot and cut them out. Like I would trace them. Like painstakingly trace them. Little did I know that there's a freaking... Uh, oh, look at them all floating. There are loads of birdies. Um, little did I know that Photoshop had a tool that basically, like, uh, selects them. Like, it, you know, finds out what you're trying to... Ooh, he's got cyan wings now. Ooh. Now I want to see what a level 41 of these guys looks like. They look awesome. <laughs> he's like, no, I want more straw, please. More straw, please. All right. Okay, so we've got another one. Uh, whereas the dodo was native to the islands of Mauritius, Rodriguez Solitaire hails from the islands of Rodriguez, east of Madagascar. We didn't really care about naming these birds, did we? Might as well have called it Burger or Tasty, because they're gone now. <laughs> well, supposedly, um, the dodo is a very interesting subject because I think there's a lot of like false uh, things are, like floating around about how they were like not tasty or whatever uh but i think they didn't have any fear of humans when humans landed uh they were happy to come up to them and be like hello what are you before being you know skewed <laughs> so we got two hours to do that i should have done always just i've always got to have one in just so the timer starts and that way i can make the most out of that situation so we need to do one more battle uh one more pvp but the pvps are so easy to do um, unless there's a tournament. There is a tournament that ends in four hours. Now, Alberta, so I don't own. And there is no way in four hours, if I was to play this straight for four hours, there is no way that I am beating this. And actually, we do have a mission to, like, have herbivores win, so we may as well just, like, kill two birds with one stone. <laughs> well, there's three birds, but two of them will do. We'll win with herbivores, I think it was, and also uh, do PvPs. So we don't have to, you know, we could, if we wanted to do it as quickly as possible, um, you know, go into the regular PvP, close the game, come back out. But this is technically faster because, I mean, it's not as fast as that, but we're also doing the other mission as well. Um, and I can't really be bothered to faff around. I think the best prize we can win from this, apart from the, the best prize, which is Alberta Saw, I think is the... What is it? It's the common pack, because I think the common pack uh, is the only pack, apart from the final one, that guarantees bugs. It's very interesting. Um, but yeah, I, I, I really wish that this game wasn't the way that it was when it comes to tournaments, because they're just a grind fest. That's all they are. And you need to use your best creatures in order to get to the top. And me, who's played this for like what feels as though decades at this point, I, I still can't, you know, wait for the final 10 hours you need and grind it all the way because I'll run out of dinosaurs. And I've been playing this game for a decade. So they re I think they would need to think about that. So 20, of course, because we're not really trying here. And we go up a little bit, but then we do one more battle. We'll be straight into the other one. Um, it's just, it always has like 20 as a benchmark and then 21 and then 22. So we'll do one more. Do some more of those speed ups back. We'll get the herbivores. I mean, we didn't go up at all there. And I think 300 is probably more health than any of the other dinosaurs are going to have. We might get 21 cups, but I don't think so. I think they'll all be using really low levels. Yeah. Yeah. I think we will still get 20. Because our level 1s are good. But against, uh, you know, a level 5 common and a level 15 common, the Aloeumbia. Saurus, whatever I'm using, is just too good. So we're probably only going to get 20 cups. But it is what it is. We make do. Once we've done this, that should be uh, one of the VIP missions done. And then we'll see if we can just grind and what, what we can get. What we can get. Uh, or how far we can get. I, I'm hoping to get to the end of this one because we will get another guaranteed minimum one. I'm pretty sure. It should be a minimum two if we complete this whole 
um, season of the Rodrigo Solitaire. And I want to. I do want to. I, do, I genuinely want to complete this. Not as in, you know, you can't complete the game. But I mean, you know, like unlocking all the dinosaurs when they come out. It's just, it's just time. I don't have time. I should hire somebody to play it for me and just grind and be like, oh, look, we got the new thing. <laughs> but then I feel, oh, we got 23. Oh, that's really good. And see, so I told you, it would be straight into prey. Um, the thing is, though, if I do that, I feel like uh, this whole this whole series, you know, I've done it legit. Maybe we bought some things here and there and we've exploited some exploits, which were fun to do. Don't know why you're talking about, Lunia. But I've never, you know, oh, one ride only. One ride. And, oh, it's for free. Oh, what do we get from this? Yeah, they were changing up these tours. So our prizes, for free, it's not bad. But they are implementing a new thing into the gyrosphere, which is that you can pay to heal your dinos. So I'm wondering, now that they've done that, if they've just deliberately added that, just so it's, you know, it's, it's harder now. And you need to. You need to heal them. Because before, they couldn't make it impossible. Because otherwise, what's the point? No one would do it. But now that you can heal... Maybe you might, maybe you might do that heal. So there we go. Uh, so onto the VIP weekly now. So we got the speeders, which is super easy. Amphibians are super easy. The battles are easy. Uh, I think there's something about purchasing prize drops. Yes, any of, oh God, I'm always with the hundred bucks with you guys. Ah, it's not really worth it, but just for the sake of doing this mission, I will. And in three hours, we could do another 20 and maybe even less. Uh, sorry, even more, because, you know, these will switch, and hopefully they won't be bucks as well. Um, so that's helping. Uh, what's the best? 800 for opening 25 packs. 800 for winning 10 battles with herbivores. And 800 for completing 70 daily objectives. That is a lot. We only need, I think, 20,000 before it's, it's maxed out, right? Yeah, so from now, we have a guaranteed... Oh, there's loads, actually. There is one, I don't think that's a guaranteed. No, it's not guaranteed. So one, two, this isn't either, I don't think. Nope. Three, no. Yeah, so we got three more guaranteed uh, Solitaire Rodriguez birdies. So that takes us to six. We need two more in order to max it. So we need to get lucky with the other packs. Now, the chances are... 5% chance. So very low, but it's not as low as less than 1%, so that's pretty good. Right. I want to have a look at the infinite battle pack. I mean, this thing is coming out in three hours, the Jigrachthaks, so that's quite interesting. But the battle stage infinite is always fun, and we need to win battles with herbivores. And this is all for herbivores. Sweet! Right. So, max damage that they're going to have is 2,700. Which basically means they kill a lot of things in two hits. Hmm. Okay. Right. Monostegatops is out. It's too weak. It's got to be my three bests. It's got to be. Like, what else can I do? Okay. <laughs> the, the health. I mean, if you look at the attacks, it's like, oh yeah, that makes sense. Look at the health though. 14,000, 17,000, 12,000. I swear, the lower rank a dino is, the crazier they make it. Like, look at the common Tropogonathus against Trinod Gen 2. 5,400, 4,600. Yeah, that makes sense. But the, the health. <laughs> All right, then. Come on. I like this. This is a good battle arena. Okay, so I'm going to go for reserve because I know he's not going to switch and he also can't kill me. Sorry if you hear creaking. This chair is really squeaky. Don't know if you can hear that. <laughs> Probably not over. Oh, but he went for it. Okay. Okay. Well, you know what? I'll kill you. Um, that means that he'll. Oh, will he though? I think he'll. I think two hits can kill me. I think he'll go for it. Yeah, he's gonna do more than three hundred. Ooh, kill me by four hundred extra. Okay, so what we can do here is go for another kill. And then I think they'll go for a full-on three to kill this guy. Yeah, it's a sweep, I think. Because that should be 8,000 in attack, and I kill it in two. So three hits will kill me. It'll go... Oh! No, it doesn't. Okay, well, we're guaranteed the, the win now. Yep. Draco Ceratops. 
Oh, looks so good. So spiky. Such a giant thrill. Ooh, me? You know what? I feel like three hits. Two, four, six, seven. I think three hits might have killed me, you know. We'll just go for the eight. Wada, wada. Yes, look at it, little munchkin. You're so happy. <laughs> with a giant frill. So that's 100 DNA. Guarantees us this. With the only packs nowadays that give you books are those ones. And of course, we get 520 VIP points. Sweet. Okay. So we also have enhanced VIP prizes, better rewards on all tours. Okay. I mean, is it though? That's the best. Five wins, and I'm paying 250 bucks for a chance at DNA. A chance. I mean, there's 1% more chance I get DNA. And then these creatures? I mean, Carnoraptor is probably the best because for some odd reason, Ludi have decided to block Carnotaurus behind a paywall. Uh, or like, sorry, by the paywall, I mean the Amber Market. Like, Dimetrodon's in there. I think Carnotaurus is also in here. Ah, oh, something's in here, I think. Something's in here. I'm not too sure, but yes. It's not very good, this whole thing. Um, so, we've got to do 20 speed-ups, prize ups we can't do, battles we can do, and amphibians we can do. So let's have a look at what's the best situation. So carnivores need at least one. Right, stampede. Ten opponents. Perfect. One, two, three. This is another Parasaurolophus, which would, I'm assuming was, would be super easy. Let's have a look, actually. I did not check that there. And we need to do speed ups, which is also good. Level ones? Yeah, it's just a bunch of paras again. <laughs> and the prize is Parasaurolophus and DNA. Whoa, this is awesome. Stuff like this is fun, Lydia. Or Jam City. Or whoever the overlords be. Whoever you overlord, whatever you go by. It's loads more fun when you make fun battle events. So there we go. Just keep doing that. We're also getting the speed ups. So here we're doing three missions at once. We're completing the battles. We're completing using the amphibians. And we're completing the speed ups. And before you know it, we'll be there. Let's speed this up. And there we go. We have done it. What's the code? 19. Not very good. And boom, 220, 220, and 220. There we go. So that takes us to, I mean, if I wanted to, I could collect all of these, but um, I don't know how long the extra VIP points are going to last. Because usually at the top, it'd be like, oh, you gain extra VIP points for the cards you open for the next three days or something. But that hasn't came up. Oh, whoa, that was 250 or something of... That DNA, that's awesome. I never do these. I should really. Pet 10 creatures. What do I got? Pet the animal. One, two. I had a mission that was feed 10 different creatures and I never had that before. I can't remember what I did that for though. Oh, remember the original Stegosaur model? R.I.P. Remember the original Argentinosaurus model? You remember that? Damn, you remember that? You old. <laughs> you old like me. Okay, here we go. Margasaur. This is a 305 DNA. So that's minimum if we can do it. Uh, so I'm assuming it's about 500 DNA. And for doing nothing, that's pretty decent. 15. Oh, you, you know it's good. <laughs> oh, get the sweat on when that one's on. That one's always so hard. Uh, yep. That one can normally fudge me. Not by, not by any fault that I've done. Just it'll be like, nope, didn't work. There we go. Okay, so we're probably going to have like loads of taps on the screen now and finish with a bar at the end. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And one bar at the end. Come on. Come on. This is it. Yes. Yes. Okay, 305. And I, it was actually 390. Okay, not the most I've ever won. I think the most I've won is like 600 or 800. Something ridiculous. And, oh, there we go. Did 100 battles, apparently. So we have hatch eight herbivores, which gives us 500, which we definitely can do. Win 10 battles with herbivores, which isn't that hard. We could keep on doing... Um, win three battles with Rodriguez Solitaire. So I think you could do both of those, right? Like if we went into... There's got to be something that we can use. Size doesn't matter. So we need one carnival. Boom. 
right? Then we need the herbivores. But Rodrigo's solitaire should be about down here because I think it is. A, there it is. So that's a herbivore. Right. And there we go. So, I mean, we are technically winning it with using... We'll see here. We'll see how this goes. So I'll go for reserve. There's nothing it can do. As long as Rodrigo's solitaire just tags along to the battle... I'm assuming that counts as it, you know, winning. So I'll do one block, two reserves, next turn. Yeah, actually, we could have killed it then. Scorpius Rex, another lovely, horrible, grotesque uh, dinosaur from Camp Cretaceous. Uh, let's, let's see its animation, shall we? The five, I think it's a bitey or it's a tail like slap. Let's see. The tail slap. Oh, it's a tail. I <laughs> love it. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Just so not what, like, Scorpius Rex would do. Mm, yes, hit with the tails. So there we go. 50 in it. Let's have a look. Did that count? Wait, where is it? It bloody well did. Yeah. So we need to do two more of that. That takes us to seven and win 25 battles with herbivores. So we're getting there. Only problem is that we're going to be run. Okay, so herbivores now. Oh, what? Herbivore. Wait, how many herbivores? One herbivore. Okay, so uh, that's good because we'll use that as a solitaire. Uh, 14,000. I, I, I don't have any good amphibians. You know what it is. You know what it is. Here we go. Let's find the level 10 Rodriguez Solitaire. Let's find it. Because it should be in here somewhere. There it is. Then we'll use an amphibian. We'll use Gorgosuchus to win. And then we'll switch back to, I don't know, Tejongosaurus. So, now, I think the only way you can kill a pack creature like this is if... You, go, you have like eight attack or seven, seven or eight. And I think it will go through all of them. So even though this is level 10, completely outmatched, it is actually really freaking good. Like, look at it. Like, <laughs> you can't kill my birdies. So he's got one block. We swap into Gorgosaurus or Gorgosuchus and it's dead. Completely dead. We didn't lose a single thing. We put a level 10. <laughs> the level 10 legendary against the level like 100 god knows what uh interrupted gen 2 so there we go that's another one done now we will need to use a speed up uh one con of oh that's unfortunate uh we can use metrophodon i will go for i will get the other rodriguez back um how much is it 62 bucks or an instant recovery or we could go for the other one which is 40 bucks or an instant recovery. We'll just... Instant recovery, I may as well just get that timer uh, cooling down. And then we'll just put something else in. Oh, sorry. We need a carnival. That's right. Uh, I know. Pyraptor, level one. Okay. Attack it. I'm hoping I don't die now in two hits. I don't think I can. It's definitely dead in one more. Let's speed this up. So, that means... Have we won this event? We've definitely done one of the missions with the Rodriguez. Which is good. Oh, there we go. Super short. Super simple. The Ophelocepsis. Looks so cool. A really friggin' nice uh, amphibian. But I don't have it. Because I think it might be a legendary, like, tournament creature. Uh, let's have a look. So there we go. Another 500 done for that one. Oh, 20 more. We got the next one. Which is 350 freaking bucks. And... Uh, win 10 battles with herbivores, hatch herbivores. Hatching herbivores is super easy. I'll show you what you need to do. Uh, you need to go to herbivores. You need to go to... Where is it? Where are you? Where are you? Come on. Come on, where are you? Wait, do I... Oh, no, there you are. Triceratops. So, in you know, you better use Triceratops. Wait, where's Triceratops? Oh, no. I've put him in the basement. No. There he is. Come out, how'd you get? Uh, and then you just click on that, hatch it. It's, we're only going to be losing like 200 DNA because we'll just end up selling them anyway. Uh, let's see. Oh, Triceratops. We need to make this new top 10 list because it's going to be in there. Because now we have missions that are like, you know, they're not story-driven missions. They're daily missions. And you'll have missions for 
uh, like fuse dinosaur, fuse, fuse a dinosaur, hatch a dinosaur. It doesn't matter what it is, as long as it's a herbivore sometimes. And in that case, Triceratops, you shine brighter than any other dinosaur in this entire game. Oh, we did too because of that. Damn, that you just won me 700 bucks, man. Triceratops, MVP. Best creature in the entire game. So, let's have a look. It doesn't claim stuff. Now, the weekly, I haven't really looked at. You've got hatch four super rares. Eh, kind of a waste. Use 15 surface creatures, which I don't really care about. I feel as though if you do all the VIP season missions, you do all the grand premium missions, uh, and the dailies, of course, you've got it all. Uh, we still have 11 days, and we're over halfway to maxing it. I feel like we can do it. Uh, fu look, fuse 25 creatures is 500. Just fuse 25 triceratops. <laughs> like, we can just go. And, you know, it costs so little. It's so good. I love triceratops. I'm not going to do this, and I'm also not going to waste an instant fuse on it. Now, triceratops, I think, is programmed to always... Um, and I want to test this. Like, let's test it. Because my theory is it's, it's programmed to always uh, succeed and to never fail. Because it's the first dinosaur you get, right? So why would they make it like a hard thing to fuse? So we'll hatch another one. I mean, we could, if we wanted to, fuse the next couple of Triceratops, like the level uh, 20 Triceratops, if we wanted to. At the same time, then we'll probably uh, run into the issue where it's not 100% guaranteed it will fuse every time. So what we do is we sell that for 100, we sell that for 100, we sell that for 100, and we just got three Triceratopses worth back. Also got, huh, not that, uh, level 30, so we're not going to bother with that. Uh, open 70 car packs, going to be a doddle, we'll do that soon enough. And we're going to have a new set of weekly events coming up soon too. So we are looking so friggin' good. We've got loads of Rodriguez coming, and I've done the battle. Is there anything in here that could be interesting? Oh yeah, let's do this one. What? Idiot! <laughs> Why would I do this one? Okay, so we need herbivores. I've used my best ones. However, it is Metrophodon. And I have a feeling, you know, that... Hold on, hold on, hold on. This, that, and definitely Monostegatops will do it, I think. And Mongo... Mo Mo Mongo! Mongo Ceratops! Another really good uh, herbivore. As long as you just get it, you have to fuse it once. You get it once, fuse it, sorted. Okay, so three. There we go, it's dead. I not even need to put Monostegatops. <laughs> Monostegatops level 40. Victory! Look at these. He's like a... Have you seen a pug? You know, the, all their teeth, if you lift up their, their, their front lip, all their teeth are like at the front because it's like somebody just took a dog and went, yeah! <laughs> it's horrible what we've done to the animals. And a T-Rex, one of the better of the original legendary. And of course, to that. <sighs> we've got, how much VIP points have we got here? We're going to open up all the packs and really, really have a see of how much we can get. Uh, there's the Alberta. So I, I'm unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to get it. Like I said, if there was a chance that I would be able to unlock it, I'd go for it. I would, honestly. But I can't. Because four hours is not enough, especially starting at the bottom. So, without further ado, Jurassic World Life fans, let's go! And here we are in Jurassic World Alive. Oh, it's been a long time, but we have this new creature, the Platosaurus. Oh, for the love of God, I'm never going to hear the end of this one. <laughs> Platosaurus, James, Jesus. Which I think has been added into the game to really, really, really annoy me. Do you know why? Not because it's a new dinosaur and they've put a new hybrid with it, but because of the way it moves. Now, normally commons are super easy to get direct hits on and... Ooh. Oh my God, I think this is on rookie controls. <laughs> oh no, it's so hard. Ah, it's so stiff. Ah. Yeah. There we go. Normally, I can get like... 450, I think it is, for, like, max darting. But it, it's it's on its hips. So it, it keeps on doing this. Like, goes, uh, 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 especially when it's turning, it's hard to predict it. Maybe it's just something I've got to get used to. Also, let's not forget to do our coin chases. This is the most important thing over any sort of dinosaur DNA is getting these things. So let's have a look. 
Uh, quickly, quickly, quickly. Gotta grab all of the coin chests. Of course, I'm getting ta- Oh, there's loads over here. Hell yeah. More than 500, please. Ooh, a thousand's good. I like the 2,500. That's a nice number. I like that one. Oh, oh, 500. 500 will do. Is that all of them? Yeah. Yeah, that's all of them. Okay, so why are we in Jurassic World Alive, Beavers? You said, you said we weren't going to touch it anymore. Well, maybe we won't do competitive, or maybe we will, I don't know. Oh god, I forgot about the, the bloody... The, the, the drone! The drone setting is horrible! Oh, when I let go, it moves super quick, but when I hold... I know. A bad workman blames his tools. But a builder's not gonna build a house with a spoon, is he? Now let's have a try at darting it with veteran. Oh, that's better. Yeah, that's nicer. I think you can fire darts quicker too in veteran. Oh, okay. Can we get, well, we can't get a perfect because he was too far away. Also, people reminded me, I think, uh, let me know in my last Trust the World live video, that they reduced the range of the VIP, like the, the circle that you can dart. So it's 266 meters now. I don't know what it was before, but apparently it was more than that. So the reason why I'm doing this and why I'm darting these guys is because if we go into here and we do the Isla event, which is what we're here for, uh, you get a lot of this. When I first opened this, I thought, oh my God, 300, 400, 600, 1,000? That's a lot of Omega DNA. Silly James. I'm not going to give you Omega DNA like that. That would be that would be too fun. <laughs> so we're gonna give this a shot, see if we can get all the way to the end. Um, we have an interesting team of dinosaurs. So you have the Compsoraptor, which can heal itself. You also have um, add to team the Styracosaurus Lux, which can also heal itself. You've got the Monolorhino, which is good for a swap in, and you've got the Tura Morlock. So Really, I'm thinking, because last time, uh, the last event with the crazy level Indominus Rex at the end, I completed it because they gave you Tyrannolophosaurus. And that thing is, you know, I've got level 30. It's maxed up. It's got all its boosts except for the unique ones, I think. Um, so yeah, that was super easy for me to do. And I was like, oh, hold on. Why don't we do this then? If, uh, not too hard, but really it depends on the roster of dinosaurs you've got. So I think resilient strike is that gonna do? Ooh. Oh no! Oh my perks! You little bugger, you! I'm vulnerable now. It's all your fault, Killy. Yeah. So we should be able to do this fairly easy. I did have a look through, or at least I looked at the final one. And I think it was a big brachiosaurus. So I don't think I've got anything to worry about, especially with my Compsoraptor. Oh, hold on. Did I? Yeah, you've got max attack, dude. You should be, you should be easy, easy doing this. Okay. Now, Compsoraptor was used loads. And unfortunately, I've had the unfortunate pleasure of doing PVPs. Because I've, you know, I, I, I want to help out my alliance. I want to get the, ta the, you know, the daily incubator you get with your takedowns. And I saw the new... Uh, swarm or horde creature and it's the it's the feathery thing it begins with an L I think uh, and that is just horrendous uh, to come up against so that that was fun to face <laughs> not really uh, this should be fairly easy 2800 was the most amount of health on this team the other team I think was supposed to be like health tanks this one isn't uh, so they should be all killed they should all be destroyed Triceratops has 20% armor, but I... Whoa! And it has... Okay. Okay, you can go for it. I think in order for me to be threatened... 1,700, so I need less than half health in order to get that back. So at the moment... The... The health I've got is more than I would... I think I would get back, or maybe just a little bit less than I would get back if I was below half health and doing that move. So we'll just quickly do this. Easy to wrap them. Done and done. And then onto Gallimimus, which again should be another easy kill. Just, just kill it. Boom. With that crit, I think it's a 100% chance to crit. Something like that. Man. 
I think if you're if you're threatened, then you get a dodge instead of getting the crit chance. And there we go. Another 150. So let's do the next one. Level three. Uh again, Comsoraptor got this in the bag. Don't really need to worry about anything else. I think we can do this. The fact we have Turo Moloch, you know, and Comsoraptor. Styracosaur Lux is good. If I had that maxed up, I'd be more confident. Do you have armor? Oh, you do have armor. I needed a crit there, I think. Oh, never mind. 4,500. Get how much damage this Dire Wolf. He's in dire straits because he's about to die. He should be called a Die Wolf. <laughs> Start maintain eye contact there. Why did you just shook your head? You know, you know how it is. You're here. You you know what this is about. <laughs> Podcast with dinosaurs. That's what this game is. So there we go. Number third. Well, number three done. Easy peasy. Three out of fifteen. Now four. Uh. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Little bit different. Thordor would be a good one actually. But it doesn't gain any health back. That's not really too quick. I don't know what Bumpy has. I don't know what Bumpy's uh, speed is. 106 for that. 105 for that. And 130. 113 for Bumpy? Bloody Nora. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm not too worried. I think comsoraptor has got this in the bag. At the moment. Because even if I start taking hits. I can get health back. And I think the only one who can stop me from swapping out is that hybrid at the end. And I don't need to worry about it. So how much? 25% armor. 10% last time and I did 4,000 damage. Yeah, I, I was thinking it's going to be close. Yep, just damage. That's fine. Should go through block. Kills one. Okay, okay. Not bad. Quickly kill Bumby before it has time to do its priority invincibility. Uh, no Depatosaurus, so I'm a bit worried about because it does have a hit all move, but at the same time, I don't mind being hit by it because that means that actually I get the chance. Oh, maybe I don't. No, I need to be below. How much is it? 1,700. Ah, uh, okay, never mind. <laughs> okay, so I need to be down to one in order to get all my health back. Never mind, I thought it was half health. Okay. So you, I can definitely kill you. You could have went for a heal, but there'd be no point. And there we go, up to level four. Oh, now we get a crit. Could have done that with the first move, but hang on. Uh, now we're, we're still doing well with Comsoraptor. It's slowly losing health, but unfortunately there's no way for us to regain health without losing one more precious Comsoraptor. Um, ooh. You have dual hit. The Microraptor. Oh, this could be interesting. Because a dual hit is 1,000 and a lot of damage. I'm thinking we might as well put in you just in case. We'll see. Actually, I haven't scrolled down to see the rest of the dinosaurs that we have. Because maybe it might be something in there that I need to use. Oh, of course, the Microraptor straight away. Okay, cool. Um... So it's precise and it hits everything when it does that. Uh, there's no point in me doing anything at this point. I've just got to do this hit. Probably take the double hit. Okay, cunning strike. Please take me below. Yes, that's it. Okay, so now I can get my health back. There we go. Now I think chances are he's going to go for the double hit and kill me. Yeah, he's going to take me down to uh, one again. Yeah, it's not enough. Yeah, that's unfortunate, but I have a cooldown of two. So I'll play my cards right here. I might be able to get my health back again. Now, he might have priority. It has a sidestep. Okay. Oh, it's going to go for the sidestep. And then it has a raking clause. I think I should be okay. Next turn, I mean, I'm faster than it, and I can also get my health back. I think I'm good. Okay, am I faster? I am faster, that's good. And then I can just, yeah, and get health back. Oh, wait, what? Oh. <gasps> I'd be worried there. Like, no way. He's, he's, he's... What move? 
What? That's a bloody hacks. Okay, I've got two, but technically I do. I have one. And then my assault with its 2,500. And yeah, may as well do that. Awesome. So we actually gained health this turn. Not bad. Not bad. So whoop it goes. He likes the green bar gun. Okay, so that's another 250, which at this point I can I can get more just by darting them on the map. Um, so, let's have a look. Again, this seems like another amazing job for Comsoraptor. I don't think any of those have anything that can hit everything, or at least they're not known for it. They're not things I, I often fight, so I'm not worried. So, Gryposuchus has... A, a move that stops me from switching out and just generally... Oh, he stunned me. No, don't stun me. No. Oh, he does damage too? Oh, you cheeky git. I didn't realize that was... <laughs> I didn't realize it did damage. Okay, okay. Well, I hope you... Oh. I was hoping it would live. Right, Concavenator. Now I'm a bit worried. Um. Oh, yeah, I could swap out. I completely forgot about this. Yeah! I could just swap in and get health back every time. Oh, you fool, James. What you like, huh? Now, you could do 1,000 damage to me. Uh, max is 1,500. So, you know what? I'm just going to swap. I'm just going to swap. Oh, and then I can swap back in? Oh, Model Rhino locks me in. Okay. Okay. So, actually, comes a Raptor I'm feeling way more comfortable with now. Because I completely forgot about the swapping in to heal. Uh, so I may as well go for a shield. I'm not too worried about you. Yeah, go for the shield. Distract me. Whatevs. Not fussed. We'll go for one more shield. Then we'll swap back into Copter Raptor. Get the health back. And then just kill it. Yeah. I mean, really? If we wanted to... I think we might be able to get our Comptoraptor up to full health here. Okay, so we should be able to get three here. Is it immune to distraction? Yeah, of course. Everything's immune to distraction. Whoa, whoa, my tournament. Okay, so cunning rampage. Okay. Now, I can't cleanse myself. Oh, no, I can. But then... Okay, that's okay. I mean, I'll cleanse myself and... We're back to full health. Looking good. Looking good. I'm so happy I found that. I feel like I know what I'm doing. Yeah. Know what I don't enjoy? PvPs. Fix it, Ludia. Oh my god, the game's horrible. <laughs> but doing this sort of thing, I like. Because I'm not against something that's overpowered is just going to kill me. So here we go. Talking about overpowered is going to kill me. Uh, we'll go for... Let's have a look. What's going to be a good team here? 24,000 health. We need things that can buff. So you're good. Target team increased damage by 50%. So you need to go in. Uh, the Parasaur again. Oh, wow. There's a lot of good ones here. Oh, there's loads. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There's a lot of good dinosaurs you can use here. Hmm. So. Is that team shield? Yep. So Monolo, Monolo Rhino comes in with the team shield. Thalaconix comes in with the the buff to all the attack. We definitely need Turamolok for the heal. And then we need something to destroy shields. Oh, what's this? Target self, increase and give shield. Oh, and also target HP. Ooh, okay, okay. What about you? What's your digging? Target self. Yep. Oh, you do a lot though as well. You know, we'll we'll go for we'll go for Thordor. I don't think we're gonna be using him too much. Just because I don't have any boosts on him. <laughs> and it's pretty rubbish. He used to be very good. They, they have switched it so much. Oh, that's cool. I've never seen this boss. Oh, look at this. Right. So, first things first. We need to go for the heal. Oh sorry, the uh, buff. So we'll go for a shield. We'll go for speed. We'll go for uh, attack, and then we'll go for hit everything and confirm our choices. So he's going to go last, and he's, I think, is that going to do damage? It does. Okay. But it's going to do barely anything because we're putting up our shields. And then next turn, we'll have Turmolok do a group heal. 
and then we'll have just everything do attacks and see how much damage we can do. So everything get attack? Yep, increase attack. That's great. Thordor's going to capitalize on that right this second with a... And oh, 5,000 damage. Yeah, it, it's, it's over in two turns. So he's going to try and do something. It's going to do like 350 damage, if that. Uh, Thordor took the brunt of it because it has no armor. Everything else. Oh, and the counter as well to just break its shield. Oh, beautiful. Right, and then just heal everybody. So Monla Rhino might as well do that. Here, oh, Turmolox lost its... Oh, has it? Oh, it just heals itself now. Oh, that sucks. I go away from the game for two seconds. And the staple, the staple of the game, the guy who is born to every raid who can heal, has had its moves completely changed. Why do you do this, Ludia? Why? You make it like, you, you put in dinosaurs that are just so OP. And not only that, you're like, oh, all your other dinosaurs that you had a tactic with? Yeah, you can't use them like that anymore. Cool. Nice. Thanks, man. <laughs> so, a few dinosaurs lost health, but really, they were dinosaurs I barely used anyway. So, 125 of this guy, which is very good. That's, we're over halfway. Right. That looks to me like a job for... Comsorat. I mean, it could be wrong. Maybe not. You know, it's nice to be on Nublar Shores. You know, like the, the final battle, you know? It's good to be here. Okay, you. I'm a bit worried about you because you definitely do have moves that can hit everything. So, I'm going to go for this one. You have no priority. So, I think the worst you can do is slow me down. But even then, it's not going to kill me. Or even slow me because I'm immune to it. So, I do take your attack down. You do have that. That, yeah, 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 that's, that's, that's annoying. Oh, he didn't quite do it. Didn't quite kill it. Okay, I was hoping he would, and then I would just go for the attack to get him back. Okay. Right. What else do you have? Panthera. Panthera. Right, you have a... Oh, you do. Oh, you have one that hits everything. Revenge. And it's on a cooldown. And you lock and swap me in. Oh, no. Oh, this very bad. I think I'm going to lose it. If I lose it, it's over. But I can't swap out. I do have a dodge. <laughs> oh, thank God. <laughs> Get out of here, man. Actually, you can't. Oh, no, I can kill you. Oh, okay. Rampage. Okay, so I'm getting out of dodge. Cool. Right. Damn. I I was so sure he could have he could have brutalized me there. And that would be my run over. I'd be like, well, it's up to Styracosolux. Now onto the hard things. Uh yeah, sure. We'll just do some shields. I don't think you have anything that's very good yet. Yeah. Accelerating. I'm not really fussed. I'm not gonna swap out either. I'm kinda stuck here. Because of Titanobo's like rampage on escape, which does too too much damage is what it does. But luckily, Model Rhino still has loads of air uh, speed because I haven't took the boosts off it. Because why would you? Oh god! No, oh, the health going down. It comes right. I don't want to look at it. Oh, finally, now we're starting to get DNA that's better than we can get on a dart. So, uh, okay, okay. I, you know what it is? I think I'm gonna do a little bit of a, a backwards tactic. I'm going to start with Thordor. I'm not too... F I guess I could keep Thordor for the final boss, because at least he does lots of damage. Um, yeah, okay. We'll keep Thordor. I was going to have Thordor in first and switch to Comsoraptor. That way I get the health. But... I don't mind. Yep, you can go for your shield. Then you can do damage to me on your next turn. And then I can do my go-through block sort of thing. Okay. Can I kill him? I don't think I can. Does it heal? Okay, it doesn't do anything. All right. Uh. Oh, well, okay. Right. I didn't expect to kill it, but it's dead. Down it goes. Easy peasy. Uh, a stun and... Oh, okay, so don't swap out against this thing. Cool. Uh. I mean, I just want the hell. That's all I need is the hell. 
Just, yeah, okay, do that. That's good, that's good. You have a priority dodge, but, like, okay, there we go. So all you did was basically just give me my health back. Sweet, okay, I'll take it. So the last one is Tyranno, Tyrannolophosaurus. Completely sweet. And this time, it's Comsoraptor. But in a way where you kind of do need to know what you're doing. There's a couple of little pitfalls you can fall into if you try and swap out. Or things that have multiple hit damages, which is also not the best. But there we go, traded a little bit of Monolorano's health for a full bar, basically, for the Comsoraptor. And now we're on 10. We're onto the home stretch. And now it gets really tricky because we've got T-Rex. Oh, Rexy. And Rexy can wreck. Uh, very much so. Um, mm. I do have you. You know what? If the if the Rex gets a crit and it does its roar on my comps and raptors, I'm dead. It doesn't matter what I do. So I'm going to put in this guy because he can also heal. I forget the grip of Lipka. Oh, Saraptor Diverse. All I know is you can do Bellow, right? Oh, you can't do Bellow. Something like you can do Bellow. Um, I guess I'll do this. Ferocious Defense. That's right, because you would do this, and then you would do the heal, because then you heal even more. Oh my god, Mutual Fury as well? Oh, my attack's going to be through the roof. <laughs> it really is. Uh, I could do that. You're immune to stun. Ah, so I don't wind up. If I can get a crit, you're dead. Come on, crit. Come on, crit. Well, I think it was like 5% chance. <laughs> oh, okay. Lots of damage. But I think it's dead. Yep, there it is. Rendering count. I don't know what its resistance was. Didn't look like it had any, but it's dead. Rexy comes in. Worried about Rexy, but luckily, I've got this. Otherwise, I would probably have died here if it did its roar. And it does do its roar. Woo! Oh, and it was a crit as well. Okay. Are you immune to rend at all? I feel like you are. Yeah, you are. You're resistant. Okay. Now I'm worried. But Rexy, apart from its normal hit, which it probably won't do. Oh, you can swap out. But you will take 2,500 damage. And what's your crit chance? 45. I think we're going to lose... I think we're going to lose it here. Oh, yeah, there it is. Okay. Okay. Um, right, we lost Gripple Lift. That's, that's, that's a heavy loss. But we saved Compsoraptor. Rexy was the... Oh, and it crit it's dead. Nice. I think it might have been dead anyway, but that Rexy out of this battle was the one I was worried about. Everything else, pretty easy, but that Rexy with the dominant roar, hitting everything, especially they made its regular move do that as well. It's re Rexy's... I think it always did. Rexy's regular move. Rexy made it. Hits everything, so... That's a tongue twister. Okay, well, RIP. Griffelif. Griffelif. 600 for that. Come on. We can do it. I believe. Okay. Two of these dinos I very rarely face up against. Okay. What about you? I think you've got it. Of course we do. Cops are raptor all the way. Easy peasy. You should get something at the very end that's more than just, oh, look, DNA for the creature. You should get like a badge. Like you did it. Right. I don't know what you do. Uh, you have a counter, and you swap in hurt me, so. Okay. All things that I don't need to worry about, apart from the counter, maybe. Never mind, you're dead. Okay, cool. Right, so, that's interesting. <laughs> oh, you have a swap in attack. Yeah, I don't like you. Um, what else do you have? You know what? I'm just gonna kill it. <laughs> I don't really care. And I should probably set up so Model Rhino isn't my next one. Because every time I've swapped into him, he does his move and locks me in. And there's nobody there. Probably should have something else. So I can swap back out into Comsoraptor. Oh, this guy. I remember when the game first came out. This was like everyone was using him. Stegodus? Stegodus. Yeah. Oh, my boy. That and Woohoosaurus. I used to have Woohoosaurus. Yeah. What are you gonna do? <laughs> Is that right? 
Is that right? I think you're pretty much dead. Well played. So that is 11 now. I think we're on to 11. Or was that 11? Either way, looking very good. Lost a little bit of health on Model Rhino. It's, it's okay. Another 100 for this. Yeah, that was level 11. Okay, so 12, 13, 14, and then 15 in the end. Ooh, you tar an X in the Fukuimimus. Now you have it. You target self and then remedy you target self as well. So you're a bloody annoying staller. Um, let's do that. Yeah, I'm not putting Mono Rhino in. Because normally if I'm going for the rampage and run, the thing is dead. So I'm not too worried. Oh, there it is. <gasps> it's the new thing's hybrid. It looks weird. Oh. <laughs> Why is the icon? Times two. <laughs> yeah, we get it. Times two. Uh -huh. Okay, fair enough. Well, is it, is it precise? One of them is, and it's a cooldown. Oh, almost killed it with the crit. Let's see what it does. Oh, a counter power heal. Okay, how much? Not much. Right. So you're like the deer. Lesser group decimating rampage. Ooh, nice animations though. Doesn't hit twice. Right. Huh. No, oh, down it goes. Nice to see it though. At least we get to see it. Uh yeah, may as well. And this this thing, I just want it dead. Get it out. Get it, get out of here. And if I want to, I can swap back into Compsoraptor. Which I might do. You Taranex, do you 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 are nasty. I don't like you. You nasty. So we'll swap into you. We'll get a health back, reduce its attack. Because it only has a resistance of 75. Oh, wait, no resistance. Oh no, it does. Resistance of 75, yeah. Oh, instant stun. I am stunnable. So I'm probably locked in here. Okay. That's fine. A lot of its moves are swapping out. But it can't even swap out. Oh. Well, I got my health back anyway. I don't care. We'll cleanse and how much armor? 10%. It's dead. It does like 4,000 damage normally. So whoop, down it goes. Looking good. Just take care of your compies and they'll take care of you. That was nice. I like that tactic of switching out and then switching straight back in. Okay. Let's see. Ooh, there it is. This is the new one everyone uses. Thlos Intrepidus. Thylos Intrepidus. Okay. It doesn't have any double hits. If only I had Rexy. If only I had Rexy. I'm going to do the same again. Do they all have like a... Don't... Like can't swap out. Or on swap out. On escape. On escape. And... On escape. Yep. Okay. It's tricky. It's tricky. This this might be the end of Comsoraptor. I don't know. I don't know. It really depends what they go for. Let's have a look. We've only got two more regular battles and then it's a boss battle. Alright. The new versus the old and I'm already down one. So this is this both well. Okay, well we got our dodge. That's good. There we go. Kill one of his. Reduce his attack. Dual rend assault. This is the good one. I am resistant to it. Good. Oh, yes. Okay, okay. We're looking good. We're looking good. We're going to be faster. He does have this, though. And he does go for it. I don't think his dual rend is one cooler. No, it's not. Okay, so he's, he's not even quicker. Okay, he swaps out, so he's definitely dead, I think. Oh, not dead. Right, okay. Oh, swapping does damage. Actually, that's good for me. I oh, no, does it not? Oh, it's a counter. Oh, even better for me. Critical counter strike. Increased critical hit chance. Perfect. Per couldn't have asked for better. Uh, yeah, I mean, if it goes for its party, which it does... Instant devious strike! Why are we still here? Just to suffer. I couldn't have swapped out there. But I could have went for my instant! No. No. 
No! It's not possible! Damn it. Wait, are you a cooldown? You're a delay. Oh, man. Lost them this close? I never faced this thing, so I I've never seen that. I've never seen it do its, like... Oh, instant devious strike. Yeah, 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 whatever. Okay, well, we're going to be hit by a counter here. That's okay. Um, I mean... Could go for that. Uh, I, I was kind of expecting it. I was expecting... Uh, if he does go for his invisibility... Ooh, maybe that would have been a good one to do. Okay, we'll just go... I mean, he has... A, oh, no, he has his devious again! No! Oh, no! Oh, thank God. Okay. Oh, but reduce damage. And he's... Oh, God. Devious is not good, man. And with the counter, and he resisted it. Thor's dead. No! Thor's also gone. I've lost my best, guys. I've lost my best. I, it's still doable. It's still doable. The thing, he could just spam Devious, though, which is so freaking annoying. I need a shield and just have something that goes through uh, Cloak. Yeah, he's got, just going to spam it. Okay. Yep, there it is. It's going to reduce my attack. Right. And then I'll just have to go for this. You gotta, are you doing it again? You're reducing my attack again? You're an ass. How much are you reducing at this time? Please still, don't be too low. Oh, no. Still. Okay. Okay, you're dead. Yeah, there we go. Ah! Woo! Woo, that was tricky. Oh, wait. There's still another one? Oh, but, yo. It's, oh. Oh, yeah. Just get it over. Just, just die. Just die. Have the decency to die. There we go. I'm going to have to look at my other dinosaurs and see what we can do. No, I lost them both. Ugh. Hate to see it. Okay. So one more and then it's the boss. So this is technically the hardest one is this one. Okay. So clever girl. Fukui Raptor. Uh, pounce and bite. Is that two hits? Yeah, hits two times for 2,100. And then you're... Okay. Right, they haven't given it the best things. And then the gripper lift. Right. I'm just wondering. What we can do is just fodder things if we wanted to. Um, I know I've got some good things. Like the panther... Pantherator is really good. And if I had panther uh, uh, level 30 as well, like a lot of people do, this would be a cakewalk, but I don't. So because of that... Draco Rex, that's not going to be very good against a, a thingy, like a group battle. And uh, Tiny Calagrius, yeah, let's go. I'm not expecting to win this one, but we just let they keep their health. I also do. Let's put you in. Diplovinator, you can do it. All right, can it? Oh, it's completely immune to damage resistance. <laughs> well, there goes my attack plan. Powerful heal counter. It's only going to be a tiny bit. Ah. Ah. Oh. And you can... Oh, you're faster now. Oh, oh but I break that god. Okay. <laughs> it's not... Wait a minute. It's not so bad. I think it's... It's not dead. Okay. And... I basically did nothing there. Because he's going to heal that much. Cool. Cool. Um... Swap in. Cool. Yeah. Um... Okay, okay. Uh, do I just follow you off? Let's just swap in, Dra let's swap in Draco. Why am I swapping in Draco? Um, does it have resistance to me? Oh, it doesn't. Oh, well, I've, it heals even more than I've just damaged it. So that's cool. Um, oh, and Dev is defense. Oh, it's got full health again. That's nice. That's nice. Yeah. Yeah, fun new dinosaur you put in the game, Ludia. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, love it. Love it. You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of the deer. Do you remember when they put the deer in the first time? And how broken that was? Yeah, that's what this thing is. Ludia, why? Why are you making things terrible deliberately? This isn't fun for anybody. 
Like, this is a level 26. It doesn't even have all of its moves. It's not even, like... It's times like this that make me remember why I don't play Jurassic World Alive anymore. <laughs> I put in three creatures. And I did no damage to it. Oh, sorry. I did 26 damage to it. I was going to say, it definitely has all its moves unlocked. Here's me thinking, oh, they're being kind on me. We're going to level it up. Because this is the MVP now. We lost the other one. And I know there's a Draco Lux. And I know it's probably even better. But I don't care at this point. Um, is there not something I can do? With, uh, with this guy? I mean, I guess I could put, like... Oh, I've already got health boosts on it. Ah! Well, attack boosts. I mean, I guess. Sure. Put up a little bit. Okay. That's the best I'm gonna do, I'm afraid. <laughs> when it comes to that. Uh, I mean, there's no other way as well to get Styracosaur Lux DNA. You can't fuse it. You have to dart it. Or get it in an event. So, we'll put you in. We'll put you in. I'm not expecting miracles. Um, this is, this is not good. This is not, I, if I can't do it this time, it's over. I just need to get through. If you get through this, the rest should be pretty okay. I'm going to put you out first, because why not? He's going to put the stego in. Right, okay, come on, here we go. Um, I'm going to go for this. Of course, it's immune to stun. That's fine. I'm, I'm wanting the bleed. He cannot... I mean, he's going to heal basically all of it anyway. But he doesn't heal the bleed. There we go. Right. Slows me down. I, I mean, maybe I can go for my dig in now. What's the cooldown on this? Okay, there's some damage. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh! Oh, we did it. Oh, I did it. Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay, that's good. Woo! Woo! Okay, Griffith. More worried about you, though. Uh, I will go for a dig in heal. Yep, gonna do that. You know what? Maybe I wouldn't be able to kill it if I didn't level it up. Oof, maybe. Ferocious defense. Okay. That's worrying. And he bleeds me too. Very worrying. As I have no resistance to that. Uh, but... I mean, I have to. He's locked me in, right? Yeah. Prevent swap. Am I able to swap, though? Nah. I'm not able to swap. So I, I, I go for this. And... And maybe get a crit. Maybe kill him. Don't get the crit. Gotta be hit by a counter. Gotta be hit by a bleed. And gotta be hit by something big as well. You cheeky kid. I hate you. You're an ass. Because he's going to go for Ren, which is going to break my shield. So I'm, I may as well just go for this. He's immune to stun. Oh my god. At least, well, we killed the Stego. But the Stego was not the hardest thing to take out, though. I think it's going to be the, the Fukui Raptor or whatever it is. Um, okay. That's a lot of damage done. I need something that can just go... If I had that other devious lick straight away thing... Okay, I'm going to be faster. Do you have anything? Uh, do you have anything? Camouflage? Do I just go for Toro? I, I think I just go for Toro. Um, and go for the, the massive hit. Yep. Okay, massive hit. There we go. Kills it. Can I get past it? Can I do this? Can it be done? Horn Devour. Okay, so I'm going to get health back for that. I've also got a shield out. Uh, I could go for this. Elimination Strike. Cool. Doesn't kill me. Wait, is Mono Rhino coming in? Oh, please tell me Mono Rhino's coming in. Please tell me I can get out without having a weird counter. Okay, it's almost dead. Swap. Okay, that's fine. Get Yep, yeah, swap. 
digging it on escape. Ah! Oh, ah, God! Oh! Oh, okay! Okay, maybe it's not so bad. Maybe this is good. Okay, so we bleed him as well. Is he resistant? Immune? Not immune to bleed. That's good. Gets even more attack. That that's that's worse. Right. Uh does he have anything that goes through? He doesn't. Okay, so we'll we'll go for our evasive hunt. We'll put down his attack, I think. We we get like a hundred percent chance to dodge, because this thing is annoying. I hate facing it. Okay. Elimination strike. Can't hurt me. Counter. Yes. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> Oh, we lost our Akasaur Lux, though. Yes, 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 yes. But, can we do it? Oh my god, this is tough. The final one is a Brachiosaur. Uh, I mean, you heal everybody. Heal, heal everyone. We need you in. We need you in. Uh, we need you in. And there's got to be something else that can do a lot of damage. It's gotta be one. I mean, I think we've got this. What do you do? Uh, reduce armor by 100%? How much armor does Brachiosaur have? None. Okay. Parasaur. I mean, how much resistance does it have to bleed? 85. We could get some good bleeds going. Okay. I have nothing that I was expecting to have at the end. <laughs> But, can we do it? Can we defeat the Brachiosaur boss? Ah! Doesn't even sound like a Brachiosaur. Ah! Right. Shields. Evasive. Uh, get everyone's attack up. And I guess heal? Because we got a model rhino that's pretty, pretty down. So, shield... Evasive for one, damage for everyone, and heal for everyone. So we're setting up good here, I feel. It's got a lovely snarly face. It's 110,000. Health, that is. So, right, so this should also increase. Pa oh, no, Ooh, okay. Oh, you're going for him. How much damage? Well, you're going to get some bleed on you. Oh, he's got his own shield. Right, okay. Oh, it goes through it. Oh, no, it's not a bleed counter. For some reason, I thought it was a bleed counter. Okay, that's good, because then all the heal will be back. Whoop. Okay, so it, yeah. Okay, it's so level 20, I forgot. It's pretty bad. Anyway, we'll go for that. We'll go for a bleedy. We'll go for... Should we go for another bleedy? Sure, another bleedy. And then we'll go for big hit. And then next turn, priority heal everybody. Because I think everyone survived this. So this is the turn everyone's attacking. So bam! 4,000. Not the most amount of damage. Oh god. The 110,000, it, 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 yeah. I'm seeing how much health that is now. Oh, it does a spider saw sound effect. Cool. 22,000, however, is admirable. Okay. So, and then another bleed comes in. 33,000. And now comes everybody takes damage. But we do have shields. Apart from the panther thing. And the panther thing's dead. Okay. It did the most amount of damage. And it's dead. Cool. <laughs> On the counter. Okay. Another 1,000. And finally... Oh, the counter hill. Heal, of course. And then... Damage. I think we've got this. I think we've got this. So let's see. Bleeding out a lot. Damage over time. Oh, 10,000. Beautiful. We shall get the shield up again. Do big hit for you. And then massive heal for everybody. It's unfortunate we lost that. Because he... That was good for getting that bleed up. So heal everybody... How much? Not much at all. <laughs> okay, big hit. 
Only 3,000, and then everyone's going to take a hit. I feel like we might have lost this, but it's definitely below half health. Okay. Less damage than we healed. That's good. He's still vulnerable. So it's going to be another, like, 1,000. Yep. Okay. Okay. And then a counter heal, which is good. Damage over time. Another 9,000. That was 10,000 just from bleed. And then a heal from the Devourer. We go for big hit. We go for bleed. And then we go for heal again. And it's gonna go through... It's doing a light hit here, which is okay. But it's hitting everybody, which is not okay. So here we go. We did 10,000 last time. How much damage was just this guy's bleed, though? I feel like the other thing is so OP. But we'll see, we'll see. Okay. Oh no, it's dead! No! Okay, well at least it got its bleed off though. Right, counter heal, and then it's gonna it's gonna heal the only other one, which is the Mon Lorino. So it cleanses everything, which is good. Okay. Damage over time. Yeah, it was six thousand bleed on the other guy. So we'll do shield. And then big hit, I suppose. I knew it was gonna be blow half health before we died. We've already got 20 turns. What happens after 20 turns? Because it does it, it keeps its health, right? Is it 20 turns overall and then it heals completely? Like, even if I died and joined again? I don't know. Okay, that's barely anything. But the bleed of another 3,000 is going to help here. Yep, 3,000. And that's the bleed gone. Uh... I think we may be able to do it, but it's... Oh, that's a lot of damage. I don't think so, actually. Or maybe we are blocking it, though. Oh, no, we're not. Oh, yeah, we are. Okay, another 3,000 damage. For a level 30 model right now, I must have took all its attack off. Okay, there we go. Oh, the parrot. Oh, the parrot. Oh, at least it got some heal off. If he goes down, the mono goes down. Okay, so we're going to get... Oh. I think power is dead. I didn't realize that wasn't a shield for everybody. That was just a shield for me. Yeah. I don't think the power is going to be able to tank 900 damage. I think it does. Yeah, power is dead. Oh, and a crit as well. Just, just for good measure. 4,000 damage. Knocked out. Okay. Right. It's just you two. I think the Brachiosaur might win it, though. Just a hunch. Another 3,000. I think this was about how much the other boss had. If I remember right. 700 damage comes in. Go for the shield. He's doing his own shield. But that's okay. I think we survived. 520, good. We're gonna we're gonna do at least four to five thousand extra damage. So we'll take it down to about twenty thousand. There's a thousand. And then we'll go for hours. Yep, and then we're pretty much dead. I think. Yeah. I'd be surprised if we survived. And another hit. Yep, twenty-two thousand now. And in comes the final massive hit. So what could do better? Or what can finish it? I think, oh god, the, its head did a weird like <laughs> thing there before it reared up. Alright, what, what, what's good here? Well, we've got the Turamolok. We've got this thing. We also have Toro. And well, we don't really have too much else. Let's go with the raptor. Sure. Let's go with Utah Sin Raptor. We just want to do damage. It's almost dead. Let's see if the turns also reset. Or if they carry over. Because that might be a determining factor in if we can even do it. I don't know what we're on. So, 
No, it does reset. Okay, cool. Right. Bleed it. Uh, do damage. Um, do you heal it? Oh, okay. Make everyone faster. And then... Toro. I don't know what you should do, Toro. You're, you're, you're probably going to die. But you do get a dodge. So you might survive... If you could survive the dodge. Okay. If the dodge works, Toro survived. And then is going to do a big hit. Otherwise... Toro has died and done nothing. So, let's see. Come on, Toro, you got this. Come on. It doesn't go through Cloak. Oh, we get armor as well. Still think we're dead, though. Okay. In comes some bleed. 2,000 damage. Utah Sin Raptor comes to lower the attack a tiny bit. I suppose. Oh, it's immune. Okay, so there's no chance of it getting a crit. It's just whether or not it gets 25% and gets through the dodge. Oh, never mind. Oh, it wasn't. Oh, this is the fastest anyway. Ah, oh, stupid beaver. Yes, Toro. You got this, dude. Oh, the counter breaks the shield. Yum. We've done this. Oh, my God. We've done this. And the heal. Right. So... Do you do damage with that? You do. Okay. Damage. Damage. How much? Okay. 8,000 or... 8,000. And... Oh! Team! Oh, give everybody. Does that go first? Oh, yes! Everyone's going to get 50% extra damage. Oh, that's perfect. Okay. It's not going to die, but it's very close to dying, I think. With 50% extra. And push. Here we go. Now... Also, everyone might die here. So, expect that. And the only one that might survive is Toro Mola. Everything else might die. Come on, Toro. Come on, you got this. Oh, it's vulnerable as well. Come on. Come on, big hit. No crit. Yes, he did it. Oh, my God. He took it down. Well done. Well done. Beautiful. Toro, you did it. Like 7,000 damage at the very end. And it gives us 200 Giga Spikosaurus DNA. And that is it. We have done the tour. And that is the only kind of fun thing to do in the game. Except for darting. Because every other battle is bloody annoying. But if you've enjoyed this video, guys. Thought we'd test it out to see like if combining the two would work. Let me know your thoughts if you would prefer them to be split or together. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, guys, leave a like. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Oh, bye-bye.